Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis are still in some extremely hot water. After seemingly being forced to post one of the worst apology videos I've seen online, minus ukulele, new information is resurfacing that could truly damage the couple. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. For those of you who missed the apology video and the letters of support that they wrote for Danny Masterson, I'll put that video up in the top right. You'll see a little eye card pop up. Go catch up. Come back. And that way you're all up to date. For those of you who've seen the video, new information is coming out. Now, look, a lot in the comments have said you don't think they should have apologized. And I can see where you're coming from to an extent. Look, loyalty is rare in Hollywood and anywhere these days. And you can support your long-term friend and choose to believe the person you knew while also still supporting victims. I, I do believe that. However, as more information is coming out about the case of Danny Masterson and what Ashton and Mila knew at the time, these two are looking extremely hypocritical. And it just shows they shouldn't have said anything at all, in my opinion. So let's break down what's happening. So Chrissy Bixler was one of the Jane Doe's in the Danny Masterson case. She was with Danny through a lot of the 70s show stuff. So she knows these two. That's something that I did fail to mention in the previous video. Ashton and Mila knew all of these Jane Doe's. So they absolutely were going against or re-traumatizing them by, by writing these letters of support. They picked their side and chose to do that. Um, now, they may not believe them, but uh, that's let, let, let's put that to the side for a second. Let's look at what Chrissy, one of them, is saying. Uh, Dear Ashton, I know the secrets your role model, Danny, keeps for you. Ones that would end you. Did you forget I was there? You were on speakerphone that night you called Danny on February 21st, 2001. I heard everything. I heard the plan. In my opinion, you're just as sick as your mentor. We're going to come back to that night. There's a lot more to it. Dear Mila, I pray you begin to process what you experienced as a child on that set. Your old interviews are very telling. I encourage everyone to watch them and decide for yourself what you hear and see. Do so before they get scrubbed from the internet. I also know what happened in the Toronto and after. Question, if that's what you view as a normal relationship with a big brother figure, then I feel very sad for you, and I hope you consider getting into therapy. You all must forget I was there the whole time those first five years of that 70s show. I remember everything. Now, there's a lot to unpack here. That incident in the night is very is a bigger topic that I'm going to put in another video. We're going to talk about that, and I'll allude to it more at the end. But I want to focus more on the rest of what Chrissy and the rest of the Internet is now putting out there against Ashton and Mila. Um, and it's interesting because I, I, I agree. To me, it's more telling for Mila being in a situation at an age that I think could have conditioned her to things that maybe she shouldn't she should be really talking about more openly or privately in therapy. Let's go and look at this. So again, here's Ashton Kutcher uh, during Punked. A lot of these clips are being, being resurfaced. I want you just to see it all and then we'll talk about Hillary it. Hillary Joff is in Liz McGuire. She also has an album out. Um, she's going to be in a movie called Cheaper by the Dozen. And she's one of the girls that we're all waiting for to turn 18, along with the Olsen twins. Any 15 year old, Hillary Joff is in. Cool. This was MTV punk. I mean, this was like the time, like at the time, this was all okay. Justin Tim, everybody was all like, yeah, we're going to like, this was a style. However, it sort of shows the style. Okay. Well, Danny may not have done drugs. Clearly Ashton, you and Danny were doing a lot of stuff predatorily that probably wouldn't hold up today. Right. You, you failed to mention all that in your letters and it gets, it keeps going. This one's incre incredibly uncomfortable from the Rosie O'Donnell show with Mila and Ashton and Danny has brought You know what's funny is when she was she was 14 when we started the show, I was like 19, right? Right. And they're like, okay, you guys are going to be making out in this scene. And I'm like thinking like, wait, this is like slightly illegal, right? I was going to say, that's right? probably your first kiss ever, right? It was my first kiss. Why is someone bet you made with Danny about our first kiss? No, it wasn't the first <laughs> kiss. It no, was like a second or third kiss. It was the first, it was like the first week. No, it was not the first. Look how he's getting incredibly uncomfortable because now it's like, don't say that in this. Don't say it here. And Mila's just innocently unaware of just how effed up this is. First week. Whatever. Let me tell you what All happened. Right, what no, let me no, tell no, you what happened. No, no. Okay, yeah. so I've never kissed yeah. a guy. So okay. I, was, I was so, I mean, you know, Ash was attractive and yeah. I was a 14-year-old little girl and I was extremely scared for my life. Sure. Innocent, scared for her life, child. Yep. Okay. Keep all that in mind. I know, but he, he was very nice about it. He was like, oh, don't worry. So I was like, okay. Then Danny goes and goes, 
Dude, I'll give you ten dollars if you French kiss her. What would you stick my stick your tongue in my mouth or some? What? No, 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 no. For ten dollars. You're making it sound like it was like really uh, it, okay. Oh, those two. <laughs> They're so cute. They were betting money to stick their tongue in my mouth. Oh, you rascals. This is sort of now how Mila just is. And I, look, I'm not trying to shame anybody here, but looking back on it now, after reading these letters, Ashton, Mila, what are you doing? Dan, we had a little side bet yeah, going. Yeah, like, which was, it wasn't very as inside. to whether or not, you know, like, you know, you're kissing on the show, or boyfriend and girlfriend, yeah, yeah. you would use tongue, right, Rosie? Like, I mean, you would use, you, it I depends mean, what kind of an actor you are, I absolutely. guess. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, Rosie. <laughs> exactly. You don't actually have to do it, Ashton. That's the, the term acting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So Danny bets me like 20 bucks that I wouldn't do it. And of hey. course, I'm like, yeah, sure. What's the deal? You and know? then the cops showed up and you got arrested <laughs> pretty much. They Wait, should have, have but they didn't. They should have, but they didn't. He did it. And I he so did it. He I so did it. this day he did it. I swear, I swear. Mila, he never, I so did it. He never did it. I, I didn't so let did him. It. I think he tried, but uh, I think no, I came my mouth so come yeah, on. Yeah. He did the old teeth block? Yes. Yeah, yeah, he, he didn't let him do the teeth block. Yeah, yeah, like, oh, yes, I, he yeah. never got his you tongue. You were going to oh, no. You didn't. You didn't, Ashton. Just admit it. She Dad, I swear. She's 14. She did it. She stop it. Rosie's like trying to like, guys, What? why are you revealing all this? But no, that was not the first. You had turned 15 by then. No, she was 12, but oh, yes, I know 15. it. There's a big difference. Not one year makes the whole world. He knows it isn't. Right. This is so uncomfortably cringe. James. All right, then. We're coming uh, up with the guy who has... Like, yep. <laughs> the name that should have been chased for show business. <laughs> Wilmer Vanderama. I don't even... Have no, let's not forget. Vilder was accused of all these same things. All these this type of behavior. Gotta be careful what I'm saying. Vilder has been very seriously accused. Of say it. What's the point? Yeah, Danny will be here as well. So the cast. And then Topher is the one who never was there. And and and, and uh, in this um, exchange here, uh, I want to go to this next one. Topher's wife has been very vocal against Danny. Um, Ash and Danny always treated Topher badly. Topher has never liked Danny. I learned this while doing early reporting on then allegations and now conviction after. Uh, finding out Topher Grace was always given S for not wanting to hang out with the rest of the cast outside of filming is kind of assuring to me he actually might be a relatively decent person. And here is now uh, she, Chrissy, vouched for that as well. Topher was bullied by Danny Masterson and isolated by most of the cast because Danny's like a cult leader. Danny hated Topher because Topher didn't know how uh, to Danny, didn't bow to Danny like his other young castmates. I love Topher. If so, if I so much as said hi to Topher, I would be given scolding and then ignored by Danny. It broke my heart. He was the only guy in that set with integrity and a moral compass. That's my experience. I was there. Uh, so coming into that story of, yes, Topher was the good one. Again, there's so many weird little details about all of this that it's hard to just be like, oh, it's all big corruption. It's all a lie, which is what a lot of people in Hollywood. No, these are good guys. Dan, uh, uh, Ashton, Mila have done so much good charity work. I want maybe to try because they have guilt. <laughs> is that why? So here it again, more. I'm Jeremy Joe, and you're watching um, In the Crease TV. Hi, I'm Ashton Kutcher, and I'm from That 70 Show TV. No, That 70 Show yeah, too. Yeah. But, and the reason I'm doing this is not because I think In the Crease is good, but because Josh told me Mila would sit on my lap if I did. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't like cancel culture. I don't like digging up old clips. But Ashton, Mila, why would you write those letters saying all this stuff when you know there's receipts? What were you thinking? I just, I, it's just flabbergasting to me that they thought this was a good idea. And so it, it doesn't end. So now let's look at Mila with Danny. Getting the job and uh, I didn't Working know. With me. Yeah, and she was as hot as she was, you know, come on. This one. 14. 14, she was even hotter. But I'm not allowed to say that. No, that's weird, dude. And again, this is the big brother figure that Ashton and Danny are all just put, put sharing the, the cast around like good old chums because... That's what they're, they'd want for their daughter, right? They were so, oh, such a good father figure. Look, we've all done stupid things when we're young. I get it. But this is too much, man. And then let's, there's so much, guys. Now, here's an appearance with Danny Masterson 
uh, with Kevin on the Kevin Pollack chat show that has been scrubbed from the internet. Kevin Pollack has privatized this video when the trial started, um, but obviously people kept copies. And the th they're talking about his DJ name. Thing is, is that when when I had the Donkey Punch, he was a shot. He was DJ Donkey Punch, huh? and they talk about how hilarious that is. The ribs, <laughs> really? That made the cough ah. to release the back muscles. I <laughs> <laughs> when I did it, that's what my donkey punch meant uh, to the to the chest. <laughs> so funny, huh? And it gets worse. From your current co-star, Adam Bush. Mm, sweet bushy. He DM'd me on the Twitter and said, "Make sure you ask the Masterson his advice. The best way to make a move on a girl once you've got him back to your place." Oh, you can just invite him for a shower. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, this is disturbing if you know the case, and I, I want to be careful in the details, but the allegations of one of the Jane Doe's was that she was forced there into the shower and things happened. And then as, as recollections started going away because of what was alleged, um, he was able to then make the next move. So to know that and to hear this is really haunting and creepy. That's the move that's been missing. Yeah. <laughs> you say, you need to clean yourself? Well, you know, you say, let's go clean ourselves together. Uh, like, it's conversational. Like, you know, like, we're gonna, you're like, oh, let's do, we should go take a shower. Do you ever pat him on the ass and say, good game, let's hit the showers? After the shower. <laughs> After you've had a good game. <laughs> then you give them a right. good game. Good game. Uh, I think next week's episode is where James LaShore convinces me to have a devil's threesome with Hello. him and Stacey Keebler. Whoa. So, so we, we tag team the shit out of her. A devil's threesome? <laughs> Otherwise known as a Berduda triangle. <laughs> Berduda. We went the Eiffel Tower. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Um, Is that anything like Silk and Twist? Yeah. <laughs> it's what Silk and Twist used to do. We used to do that after our shows. <laughs> with sheep, but they're doing yeah. it with Keebler. Who's counting? Again. Your and then goes on to make a, uh, th there's a lot of reference in this that I just can't tell you. Uh, and here's proof that the, the video is now private by Kevin Pollack's channel. Um, so yeah, there, the, the, I'll put a link to this. This has the full interview and all the best stuff. There's other terrible stuff in here with keywords I just have to be careful of. But guys, it doesn't end there. So what is, what is Christy alleging to? Who is Ashley Ellerin? Why was Ashton Kutcher there? And did he lie about this murder? <sighs> oh, yeah, he sure did. Let's uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell for alerts. You're not going to miss part two of this one. Hit the uh, alerts. Hit the like. Let me know your thoughts. I want to separate that video just because I think it's important to have that one. Uh, so stay tuned for that. In the meanwhile, what do you think of all this? Do those clips now make it seem a little more troubling uh does it look there's so much more that i'm going back and reading the testimony i gotta say yeah i i don't believe danny was being was falsely accused or this is a wrongful justice no i i do believe the scientology aspect of it really sets the tone for why this was all thrown on the bus i mean hidden under the rug rather um at the corruption there i believe i really do and it's disturbing because they know all of this they knew the victims it's one thing to support your friend who's accused of something and then just sort of move on because their family asked, their daughter asked, and you were, I, I could accept that to a point, but the details of the letter, the way the letter was written and this apology afterwards, these two look like massive hypocrites. This, this video was one of the dumbest PR moves I can think of. Not an actual apology, angry, just completely disingenuous, like not genuine at all. Uh, they look forced. It looks awkward. This was one of the dumbest things they could have put out because now it's made it so much bigger, guys. So stupid. If anything, they should have just written a statement on their instance. We apologize. You know, we 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 we're, we're still. There's there's so many ways they could have said this, but this was not the way. But I'm curious what you think. Does any of this change your mind on Ashton Mila? Do you still feel that way? Do you think they shouldn't have apologized at all? Do these old clips not matter to you? I want to hear your thoughts down below. What do you think? Let's hear your thoughts. Stay tuned for more, though. You're going to hear about this other one with Ashton. You're not going to believe it.